Welcome everyone to another let's test of a game called Menace from the Deep. Of course, we can't go through a Steam Next Fest without at least one game in our portfolio that has heavily influenced from uh, HP Lovecraft and the like. So here we are, Menace from the Deep. Let's see what this game has to offer. The Innsmouth Museum So... Here it is, the inside of the Innsmouth Museum. It looks enchanting, Mr. Mayor. I'm glad to see you're impressed, Mr. Grum, and that you decided to visit Innsmouth after all. But as you can see, the museum is currently going through challenging times. Due to a rotting roof in most of the halls, there's a lot of moisture. We had to remove the most valuable exhibits to protect them from mold. It's a bit chilly in here, but don't worry. My foundation has restored buildings in worse condition. Dr. Kraus, how do you find the local exhibits? Aren't they treasures? Oh, are you asking me? I'm thrilled! I can't wait to start my work here. I'll instruct my team to... to conduct an additional inventory. Mr. Grum, the museum is on the brink of closure. I would even dare to compare this place to an old and ailing horse that's better off being put down to end its suffering. Most private collectors have far superior collections than what you can find here. Are you sure you're ready to take on its restoration and upkeep? It's madness. I know what I'm doing. They've called me worse names, my friend. Give me some time, and your town will be known for more than just the cheapest brothels. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Mr. Mayor. I won't keep you any longer. Dr. Kruger and I will explore the museum, and if his assessment is positive, my lawyer will deliver all the necessary documents to you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Grum. You're the only patron who has shown interest in Innsmouth cultural heritage. I'm just not sure what you are expecting to find in this place, but that's your business now. Brain, you're a terrific actor. I'm sorry, Head. I thought we agreed that my nickname is Kruger, not Kraus. Okay. Don't worry. I believe this museum building will be perfect for the moths. What? What's happening? This building is about to collapse! Gosh! Keep your composure. It's just a minor earthquake. These things happen in Innsmouth. I visited this town with my father when I was young. As you say, Head. But what was that noise? You need to get out of the laboratory more often, Brain. I'm sure it's just a ship's siren leaving Innsmouth Harbor. Gather your people and see what interesting exhibits the moths can find here. Meanwhile, in Innsmouth Bay, Tutorial, page 1 from 4. Achieve victory over the enemy using guards, consumable, and abilities. Oh, cards, not guards. Abilities. You can play an ability as many times per turn as your hero has insight points. Consumables. Consumables do not require energy to play and can be played at any time during your turn. You control your hero character. Allies and enemies act independently. The turn starts with the hero's turn, followed by allies and then enemies. Cards require energy to play, can be found at the top left corner of the card. Once the energy is depleted, end your turn. Okay, so it is a card battler. Um, before we click next, I just want to say I really am enjoying the art style. Again, very reminiscent of games such as Darkest Dungeon. I really enjoy this. And the voice acting so far in just this intro, absolutely fantastic. Play attacking cards, consumables, or abilities to inflict maximum damage to enemies. To apply, drag the corresponding item onto the target or click on the respective item and then on the target. Combo bonus. The more attacking cards you play per turn, the larger the attack combo bonus added to the damage of the attacking card. At the beginning of the next turn, all combo bonuses are reset. The attack adds to the damage of your next attacking card. At the end of the turn, the attack disappears completely. Alright. Um, yeah, that's fine. 
sanity. In a fight with truly dangerous creatures, the hero may lose sanity points. Complete loss of sanity leads to defeat. Nice. So there we have that Lovecraftian Cthulhu influence already. I like this. Um, block. If enemies plan to attack you, play defensive cards, consumables, abilities to gain block. Block absorbs the damage the enemy intends to inflict on you. At the beginning of the next turn, block residues will be halved. Combo bonus. The more block cards you play per turn, the larger the block combo bonus from applying the block. So similar to attack bonus then. Alright. So far so good. Intentions. Attention. To plan your actions correctly for the current turn, look at the intentions of other participants in the battle. Intentions for each character can be found above their heads. You can learn all the details of a specific intention by hovering over it with the cursor. Statuses. Characters can impose various stasis on each other during the battle or have them from the very beginning of the battle. Make sure you familiarize yourself with them by hovering over the character. For example, regeneration. Character heals X HP at the beginning of every turn. X is the status strength. Okay. Oh wow, we're straight in. Nice. Oh, I am loving this. I think this is already a good moment to just take a quick snapshot. Okay, so I guess this is us. Who are we playing though? That doesn't look like either head or brain. <laughs> so what was it? Grum and Dr. Kraus? Uh, it looks like a reporter with a camera and just a dude. And we are fighting some fishermen. So let's have a look. Hand. Rage. When the hero attacks enemies or when the hero is attacked, he gains rage points. Filling the meter grants the hero the rage status for three turns. What does that mean? We don't know. Okay. Uh, rope, relic, passively, get plus one slot for equipment. And we have a bag, also plus one slot for equipment. Um, what do we have here? Draw pile, a discard pile, and I probably need to just lower the music a little bit, and the exhaust pile. The card is the exhaust property instead of going to the discard pile, it goes into the exhaust. I'm sure we are learning those mechanics as we go. Uh, attack combo bonus, block combo, so that was what I was describing. We have four energy. I'm guessing those numbers here indicate how much energy we will be using, yeah? Oh, so this one doesn't take any energy. And Intentions was above it. So he intends to deal 5 to Lotus. Character has X percent chance to avoid enemy's attack. There's quite a lot of information to absorb, actually, and it's quite busy. Um, mm, maybe for the future it would be nice to combine the tutorial with this first fight so it just explains it to you step by step uh, it does feel just a little bit overwhelming but anyway so as equipment we have army boots so we get plus one energy uh, right click to unequip no and we have a set of knife so we gain plus one to our attack combo oh that's why we already have one down here uh, cure so we can heal five i guess five health um Newspaper. Gain 20 block to a hero or ally. Right click to unequip and remove permanently. A poison dart. Apply poison to a chosen enemy. And we have a strong coffee, so we can gain two energies but only for our main hero, which I'm assuming is this character. Drag. Okay. Uh, do we not have full health? Or is this just um is this just how the health bar looks? Because it looks like there's a tiny corner here that is missing. Well, let's have a look. What does this mean? Evasion. Oh, that's the symbol. Yes. 15% 15, 15 chance to avoid the attack. He's going to... He's going to block. He tends to get 6 block. Lotus intends to deal 7 damage to fishermen. And he's evading. Anyhow, shall we just try? So what do we have? We have a pistol shot. After playing this card, goes to Exhaust Pile, so we can only use it once per battle. Okay. Oh, that's what it means here, Exhaust, so where it goes to? What do we have here? Nutcracker. Deals plus 50% more damage to humans. Oh, so we know already we will inf encounter enemies that aren't human. After playing this card, goes to Draw instead of Discard Pile. Okay. Humans Menace, Rapid, deals 3 damage to a chosen enemy. Then we have Punch, 
and we have another pistol shot, so we have two pistol shots. Shall we just do this first, because it says it deals 50% more damage to humans and it doesn't take energy. And now I'm just pulling it. Okay, let's just get rid of one person first. So this dude attempts to attack him anyway. Oh, nice. That's actually quite nice. So he's going to deal 5 damage, right? To non-humans, but I think they are all... How do I know whether they are humans or not? Fisherman, farmer... I mean, I'm guessing they are, right? Because it says men. Anyway, we still have 4 energy, so we can play everything. Let's do 8, that would leave him with 7. That deals 14. Let's punch him. Okay. And then let's shoot him. Okay, farmer. Maybe we use this on the last one as well. Oh wow, that was a... That was good. We do have more energy, but we don't have anything else to play, so I'm guessing we can just end the turn. Music is very nice. Sound effects really cool as well. Okay, so one is dead. Oh, I thought he was attacking this guy. Oh well. Oh, what do we have now? Even the cards, I mean, just visually it looks really appealing. I'm um, quite, quite happy with that. What do we have? We have Smoke Break. It's available at the start of every battle. Get three... It's like diamond shape, I don't know what this is. Hero only. Oh, that means we get three more cards, nice. Heals four. So we could use this on our friend here. Heals four to a chosen ally. Ally only. Okay, nice. Because that didn't take any energy, so we could just easily play it. Now what do we have here? Deal 10 damage and also apply 3 vulnerability. We don't really need that, I think. So we can just do... Oh, we only have those as damage abilities, but they're all more than enough. So let's just kill this guy. Okay, wow. And now we can go... Okay, that was our first fight, and it ended in victory. A few hours later. Greetings, Ed. Um, there is something we need to discuss. Oh, so is this the guy that we were just playing? So, Hand? What happened? You look all dirty. It's better to discuss matters in private. Brain, aren't you supposed to be dealing with test tubes in the basement or something? Cease your bickering, gentlemen. We don't keep secrets from one another. Remember what the code states. Knowledge is light. Moths fly toward the light. All right. Lotus and I visited the village, as per your orders. Many of the residents there are not in their right minds. They refused to talk to me. As night fell, we followed a group of fishmen dressed in rags who were heading towards the shore. They were mumbling something about the heart of the sea and carrying sacks. Approaching the ocean, they boarded a boat and dropped those sacks near some sort of huge rock sticking out from the surface of the ocean. A thunderstorm began, and the fishermen returned to the village. Lotus and I decided to use the same boat to get a closer look at the rock. Suddenly, as we approached the boat, attackers emerged from nowhere. There were many more of them, and I can swear they were inhuman. We had to flee, and something very strange happened there. I'm certain it was some kind of cult ritual, but I have no idea who those attackers were. Calm down, Hand. You did everything right. Don't jump to conclusions. Gosh! And why couldn't you have observed them more closely? What if they remember you? He did everything right. Go get some rest. You've done a great job. Tomorrow morning, assemble a larger group from our society members and head back to the protrusion. Brain will also provide some of his people. For now, Let's disperse and rest. The next morning. And now this is truly strange. The moon didn't disappear by morning. 
Why is it turned red pink? I don't like this head. I agree. My wise father has records of this in his journals. Let's wait for Hand and his team. A few hours later. Here's the rock the fishermen were talking about. Mm. And they just carried it easily in here. Okay, well, looks really cool. Like a skull in a rock and another skull over here. My people are already examining it. And it's not just a rock. It's a monolith. I can't say yet what the monolith was doing at the bottom of the ocean, but it's definitely not a simple rock. It's covered in symbols of an ancient language. But mm. that's not the strangest part. Inside the monolith, we detected signs of a very powerful force. The nature of which I'll need to investigate further. And I can't wait to begin my research. Head, if this monolith holds any secrets, I will uncover them. I never tire of repeating, there are no unknowable things if you're willing to accept that the answer may be far more insane. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's as if Christmas came early this year. Go ahead, Brain. Do your magic. Now, regarding the moon, according to my father's journals, the bloody moon is a sign of a new era approaching. An era of a new order and the coming of the Elder Gods. My father didn't speak idly, so I'm beginning to lean towards the idea that our arrival in Innsmouth is not in vain. I've already heard this from a local. Though they may not be talkative, I can get anyone talking. The local claims to have seen amphibious people with bulging eyes and scales all over their bodies. He says they are messengers of the gods. Please try to avoid using force whenever possible. You know I don't encourage it. So, this is no longer mere gossip or jokes. We stand on the brink of something great incomprehensible what's happening now what everything is leading to was one of my father's greatest fears he hoped this day would never come but I'm ready to face this battle I won't shame the memory of my grandfather and father we need to establish ourselves in Innsmouth and set up our headquarters here please go visit the mayor and inform him that the museum is already under restoration. Okay. But before that, we need new people. Volunteers who are eager to uncover the truth. New Moth's members. Oh, okay. Can we... Can we do anything? No. Just with the moss. We can't walk. I'm just trying WASD. Uh, construction resources. Five wood, I assume. I built the only clickable. Oh, also settings. Maybe here we can just turn the music volume just down ever so slightly. Uh, continue. Um, let's click build. And can I just say, whoever is voicing had what an incredible voice. Okay, so what do we have here? Interesting. Oh, propaganda center. So this is where we start and then evolve. Uh, unlock detective as a playable character. Propaganda center. Then library. Can we click on it? No. Hospital. Storage. That looks like a, a clothing hanger. A brain. Uh, Google Maps. Chemical laboratory. And a car. Anyway. Let's start with the propaganda center. We have one. And we don't have enough for more. Let's see what it says here. Library. It gives plus one random common card in the deck at the start of the journey. Hospital gives plus five HP additionally at the beginning of the journey. And storage gives a random common equipment item at the start of the journey. Okay, nice. I like this. So a bit like a skill tree system essentially, right? Um, there's nothing else that we can do here. I love this. It looks so great. Really cool style. Start the journey. Select character, build propaganda, build level 3. So this is then how it progresses. Oh, with a cute little doggo. 
Okay, let's choose this. Enter name Marvin Lovecraft. I'm just going to go with it. I guess this is a randomizer, but why not? Nice homage to the master. Private detective. All right. A battle with an elder god. Oh, holy moly. That looks insane. A skirmish with beings from other worlds, monster melee, scuffle. A showdown with a powerful entity from another world to obtain a powerful relic, elite four fight monster melee. It's unknown what adventures this card will lead you to. Travel decks. This indicator determines how many travel decks are available for the player to choose from. Visibility. This indicator determines how deeply a player can see into the travel decks. 13 cards to play till the boss fight. We have money, flash, uh, I have no idea what all of that means. So what do we do? Play the top travel card from any deck onto the travel track. So do I choose one of those ones, yeah? So either I'm having a showdown with a powerful entity from another world, I go with the unknown or a skirmish with beings from other worlds. I th So this is museum, monster melee, scuffle. Shall we just try the powerful entity? All right, let's see. Probably not the best choices. Oh, oh wow. Holy guacamole. Yeah, I think that probably was not the best choice to start off with that while we're still, you know. Oh, we can't even see what our doggy is doing. But the character heals XP. He is gonna get a moon beast. He's getting a 14, 14 shield block. Alright. Heals too. Well, we don't need to heal anyone, but I see we also only have 40 health. So I think this is going to be tough. Uh, let's start with this. Okay, so we get a punch, and we only have 3 energy now. Oh, boy. Let's hit all of our attacks while we can. So us doing attacks also increases our rage meter. Okay, and we now have a combo bonus of four. I guess we just end our turn because again, we don't need the heal just yet. Peace. Oh, he didn't do anything. That's a shame. Oh, let's see. Don't hit my dog, please. All right. We can put a block, disguise. Reduce incoming damage by X points whenever the character is attacked. Decreasing each turn, gains five shield. Could I use this on my dog? We also have take a swing, hero only. I don't know what that did. Oh well. Oh, so we're... Moonbeast intends to deal 17 damage. Dog intends to deal. Okay. Oh, so we definitely want to do those things. So he's not attacking our dog, he's gonna attack us. Let's try and block as much as we can. Um, where can I see my... Is that the shield's now 11? And it still says 15. Oof. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Oh, so it turned actually down to four only. All right, not too bad. What's his intention now? Scary attack. Moonbeast intends to deal two to private detective. Oh, so he's attacking our sanity, yeah? And he does it on both. Oh, boy. Our dog gets some shield. That's not too bad. Okay, so this damage is not too bad, actually. Let's threaten him first. Let's give him a weakness, whatever that means. It's a shame that I can't really see what this all is. Um, six to all enemies, so we only have one. But... Okay, that at least reduced the shield. And then we still can apply a block to ourselves. Okay. I wish our doggy would heal us a little bit. I think that would be more useful at this moment in time. 
Okay. So sanity, we need to actually pay attention. Oh. What is... Character in his XP. What's this? Cast attack. Dock intensity, 5 damage to moon beast. If the attack breaks through the block, a curse is imposed. Oh, very nice. But the moon beast is gonna do 17 to our dog, that's not great. And he only has 3 shield. I wanna do a vulnerability on him. So we could punch him or we can block for our... Can we block our dog? No, hero only. Oh, it says it underneath. Alright, then we may as well just attack him. And we block ourselves. I think that's all that we can do. Because we don't really... We don't have any items or anything else. Okay, doggy. Oh, plus two bleeding. Very nice. Yeah, that hurt. Okay, 32. Smoke break. Hero only. Helpful hand. Heals two. Very nice. We definitely do that. Take a swing. And then we can do both. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And end the turn, because we don't have any other cards left. Okay. I think we might be able to do this. Please don't kill my dog. Okay. That bleeding is definitely helping us right now. Okay, apply weakness. And we got it. Nice. Pick one relic. Okay, there's only one. St Statuette of an eagle. After every five block, deals ten damage to a random enemy. Okay. New or upgrade ready cards. Money. Brass knuckles gain two strength. Apply weakness or mini bombs. Monster's menace deals two damage to a random enemy three times. And 50% more to non-humans, so three damage then. <laughs> so up to nine in total. And strength. Each strength point adds an additional damage point. That's also useful. But I do also like the skill card of threat. Character deals 25 less on each damage. I'm gonna take this one and because it takes zero energy, so... Claim reward. Okay, so I guess we are now making our way all the way over to the boss fight. Um, let's try unknown. Well, well, well. Look who's here. <laughs> Again, amazing voice and look at that art style. Isn't he just the most creepy merchant that you've ever come across? Look at those nails on the hand. Okay, so he has cleavers, couple of bags. Sacrifice 20% to get 50 gold. No, thank you very much. That's what, that's six, six or seven health that we would be giving up for 50 gold. We have 219, I don't know what this means yet. The three, um, looks like a staircase. So we have a compass, get one travel deck. Lottery ticket, immediately get 200 gold, probability 50%. Okay. Bird bones, in the beginning of each battle heal five, that's, that is powerful. Passively get one slot for equipment and tarot cards. At the beginning of hero turn, draw plus one card. Equipment, set of knives, plus one attack combo. After hero was hurt, get two damage. In the beginning of each battle, apply three fearless to a hero. Apply five burning. Gain two energy. Get five cards, or a card. Swearing fatal. <laughs> oh, get 40 rage. <laughs> That's awesome. Whiskey. Oh, come on. We almost... We have to apply this. We have to buy this card. What does it say? Exhaust, apply, one vulnerability, but also get three strengths. Oh, okay. So we're applying a vulnerability on us, I assume, yeah? Because we're drinking, basically. You know what? Let's gamble. Let's do the lottery As ticket. As you wish. <laughs> 
Oh, but I can't use it? Oh. Yeah, I thought I could just use it because it says immediately get 200. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's fine. Can we use this one? Get two damage. Or any of this one more useful. Energy. Suitcase consumable. Get five cards. I want to use something. Energy. In this last fight, we actually... There were, I think, two times when we had energy left, but no more cards. So maybe this is more useful then. But this is an equipment, so this is more permanent. Am I right? So let's do this. Come Continue again. the journey. Oh, I will. You don't die. Well. Obtain a relic or a powerful card. Well, let's go to the museum then. Museum. <laughs> you have entered the museum. There's no one around, and the dead silence makes the situation even more suspicious and unclear. In the museum, there are numerous interesting artifacts. You decide to take a closer look to see if there are any items with dark energy here. What do you do? Look for relics, or look for an ancient manuscript? So, we already have three relics. Shall we look for one more, or should we look for a higher tier card? I want another relic, because I would like to understand how many we can have at one given time. A fan. Each time you draw, draw plus one. Get five wood. Immediately upgrade three cards. Crystal ball. Each time you draw, draw plus one. This gives us more choice, so maybe the fan is actually a good thing. So we have four relics now. Okay. Don't know what the maximum is. Stop by the motel to restore HP. Restore insight and upgrade cards. Mm -hmm. I do want to do another fight for now. Oh, a brawl with the hostile local. Your turn. Ooh, what do we have here? Brute. Character deals additional damage point for each ally with brute status. Attack Deep One. Deep One intends to deal 6 damage to the dog. Oh, and we keep the health from the last fight. Oh, and even the sanity. That's where this hotel card comes into play. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't do that right away, because I'm assuming that might be limited and we may want to use it at a later point. So intensity is 6 damage. Um, well, first of all, let's... Wait, wait, wait. One sec, what is this? The dog intends to deal 5 damage to that guy, so let's threaten him and give him a weakness. Okay, so that's 4 less damage... Uh, that's 2 less damage already on our dog, which is great. Um, Oh, that is an attack on both of them. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, he has two bleeding, but we will be suffering some damage for now. Nice. Okay, thanks to our shield, we only had one damage. And we got a little bit of rage. Weakness to the other guy as well. What's this? Oh, so we can't tell what his actions are, right? But they're both intending to block. Flesh. Vulnerability to all enemies. Absolutely, we're gonna do this one. Okay. Gain five. No, they're blocking. So I don't think we need the block right now. So let's do the grenade. Okay, very good. And the turn. Oh, what did, Ah, he, he healed himself. Oh, so bleeding is affecting the shield, not his health directly. Um, heals two to a chosen ally. Come on, Dogo. Let's give you two more. Cursed attack. Yeah, we definitely want to block that one. But we also have enough for everything, really. So, um... Let's do this first, because I think that should... Nice, that's already done. 
then end the turn. Not too bad. That actually went really well for us, I think. Okay, good, good. Newspaper consumable. Gain 20 shield to hero or ally. Click to equip. Nice. Helpful hand heals 2, deals 6. Exhaust deals 5 damage to a random enemy 2 times. Oh, that's why it hit both of them. It could hit one twice or one each. All right. I, I like this actually, so I'm gonna go with that and then claim the reward and some money. Perfect. Let's have a quick sip of my second favorite uh, beverage, my coffee. All right, so we could either have a, a brawl with a hostile local resident, we could not stop by the motel or sk another skirmish with a being from another world. I think I'll do another one of those. Oh, and then it's the hostile one. And maybe I would like to get to at least halfway through, and then I think the hotel might be a good option. Alright. So he wants to blo add some block for himself. He's straight going in with a cursed attack. Mm. And the other one is attacking for seven. My poor doggy. That's a lot, actually. So I would like to... Who's doing the cursed attack? Him, right? So let's make him... Or the 7, maybe that's better. So we'll lower that damage. So bring it down to 5. Um, that's hero only, but no one is intending to attack us right now. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame that I can't use it on him, but... I am gonna play both cards and end the turn. Because I feel otherwise it would be a waste. Okay, at least our doggy is almost full, but it is gonna hurt. Hmm. Damn it. So what is this now? Poison, yeah? Again, it's a shame. It's a shame that I can't... Oh. oh, if I go over him, I see it. Poison character loses X HP at the start of every turn. I wonder if the 2 is the indicator for how much HP I'm gonna lose. Oh, I'm gonna be cursed now and attacked harshly. That's vulnerability to all enemies, we definitely do it. But first, I guess it's good strategy. Everything that has a zero, let's always play that first because it doesn't really matter. And then let's do the vulnerability because I think that's a, that's a good one. Now, do I want to get some more shield? Or do I want to punch for six? I think I want to get some more shield and gain that extra two dexterity. Reduces incoming damage by X points whenever the character is attacked. That's amazing. I think that was definitely the right choice. All right. Yeah, it's two damage. Okay. Nice. Didn't do nothing because we had enough shield to block it. Okay. I'm happy with my choices. Alright, we have two... Uh, weakness to one enemy. Who would we like to see? Who is attacking our... He is attacking us. And he is attacking our doggy. So... We have at least one shield, and we can get one more. So maybe to the guy, the one that is attacking our dog, I'm gonna apply weakness to him. Yeah, so we're breaking it down. From 7 to 5, that's better. Uh, and then we're gonna get one block. And shotgun. And I guess because it's random. Nice. Okay. End the turn. I'm really liking this. I like the animation and the style. Sound effects are fantastic as well. They're matching the enemy type that we're, that we're having here. Okay. We can apply weakness again. Definitely to him. And also to him. Okay. We're gonna throw the grenade. 
and he's taking five. He's taking three, but he is he is cursing us, so I think I'm gonna go with him. So that's the strength with which we can hit. Um, yeah, vulnerability, and we only have blocks this round, so we're just gonna do those. Oh, I wish the doggy would heal us every every now and then. Sixty-five. We're almost. We'll almost have our rage meter, rage meter filled up. Uh, smoke break. Helpful hand twice. I can't heal myself. It's a shame. Can only heal my buddy over there. Um, so what's he intending? Six. That's hero only. He's not intending. Oh, he is intending to attack us. So let's do it differently. Let's attack him. Okay, that gets rid of him. We have two left. Uh. Perfect. Really good. Get five cards. Oh, new or upgrade. So I can get a new card or upgrade one. I love this, the vulnerability card that goes on everyone. Smoke break, threat. That's... That's amazing. Okay, threat reinforced. Apply two weakness to a chosen enemy. Or threat aggressive. Apply two weakness to all enemies. But then it costs us one energy. I want to have a singular one for now. I want to keep it with this. Oh, I can still take more? Combat stance. Gain six shield, also get one card. That seems really useful. Okay. Only one thing to choose there. Lock team. Gain five to hero or ally. Or gain six. I like this. Maybe we can... Let's do this. So we do a bit of a mix. It's not too complex because some of them basically just give you the same thing. Heals three to a chosen ally. We shall get one, get two. And this stays zero. Oh man, good cards. Okay, two vulnerability. And gain two shield. Holy guacamole. That's a strong card then. Nice. Okay, claim the reward. I am super chuffed with that. Okay, one more fight. And then I would say on the halfway mark. Maybe depending on how this goes, maybe after that then. Okay, this time we have humans again, so three farmers. So he intends to attack us, so we're gonna apply two weaknesses to him straight away. Right? And then we want to do this. This is now pointless because, well, he's full. He's full health. All right. Let's end the turn. Something to heal me would be very good. I guess he's gonna attack me, and he's gonna attack me. That's what I thought. Combat stance. Yes, absolutely. Let's do that. And they're all only attacking me. 
since we have six already. So I'm gonna do this. So, so it should be blocking enough. And then means I still have... That's ally only, sadly. So let's focus on... Eight potential damage. Eight. Eight. Let's focus on that dude. And the turn. Nice. And now bleeding is applied as well. He is attacking our doggy. Take a swing first. Let's increase our strength. Could get an additional two. What if we do this? I want to try this. Let's do this. And now... 14 damage, so he's dead. 14. Yeah, let's get one out of the way then. Although he has bleed on him anyway. Maybe I'll try that guy. And that's it. Nice. Okay, let's see what we have. First, we take our smoke break. Threat. Apply one weakness. Wait, I need to... Who is attacking? Him and him. Our doggy is gonna kill him, so that's fine. He's the other one, so we're gonna apply weakness to him. And no one's attacking us, so that's fine. Gonna throw a grenade first. That's already him done. And he's attacking, so. That's punch reinforced. There we go. That's that problem solved. He's gonna put some block up, which is fine. Doggy is cursing him, so... Here two to a chosen ally. Let's strengthen ourselves. Vulnerability and block. It's a shame we don't have anything else, so... Nice. It's not too bad. Apply two weakness. Here's three to a chosen ally. Which is fine, let's do that. Do this. And there we go. Victory. Okay, so. New card. Nutcracker. Human's Menace deals 3 damage to a chosen enemy for 0. Gain 2 strength and block. Let's take this one. What do we have here? Punch reinforced. I'll take it. Gain five shield and also three dexterity. Very good. Gain four. Oh, wow. Those cards are getting powerful quickly. We can either say deals six damage to choose an enemy two times or deals three to all enemies two times. But this... So this could potentially be 12 to even a singular enemy, which is nice. If we have three enemies, as we did in the last two rounds, there will be nine, there will be 18. I'm gonna go with this for now. What do we have here? Zero. Apply two weaknesses. Apply two weaknesses to all enemies. Yeah, let's have one card that does it to all, even though it now costs one energy. It's fine. Okay. 
So, I think I'll do one more. Do we want to do one more local? And then go to the hotel? Yeah, I think that's good. Because I'm, I'm, again, I don't know how often this will come up. And I just have the feeling that you want to probably stretch this one as much as possible, as close to that boss battle as you can. So, uh, let's do another one of those. Let's see. Okay, it's three again. Okay, so heals chosen ally. I'm just gonna keep that one for now. Uh, let's apply two weaknesses to all. Oh, we didn't have any shield now. Mm. Maybe that was not, not the best starter move. Oof, now we're poisoned. And there was... 2 HP at the start of the round. Alright then. Deals 3 tam damage to a chosen enemy. So they're all going on the attack now, but he does the most. So I'm gonna... Go over there. Two vulnerabilities to all enemies. Hmm. I think that's really good actually. I'll do this. I guess. So this is now a zero at least. So we could use the plus two health. Smoke break. And then two weaknesses. He's gonna put a block on himself. Okay, that's at least a little bit less. Deal six to a chosen enemy two times. 27, so we could just instantly wipe him out. One second. He does 5. He does the 7. That's only for 1. So let's take the one with the highest. The 7, that's reinforced. One second. He is the one attacking me. Those cards got powerful real quick. He's gonna put some block up, that's fine. And now he's going for the doggy, which is also okay, so we... Well... Just one missing, what a shame. But again, that's alright. Ally only. That's the only thing I think that I feel is missing. Um, a nice sound um, for when you're winning, but overall I think again sound design initially is just really really great. Pistol shot. That one is nice. Deals two damage to a random enemy three times. So six damage overall, eight damage, so I think this one is probably better. Or again, get cards. I like this. It's three to a chosen ally. Deals eight now. So 
that's reinforced plus, and then we have reinforced plus plus, and then chaotic and chaotic plus. It's interesting. Claim the reward. All right. Let's see. One twenty-three health. So we're about fifty percent now. I'm guessing the fights are gonna get harder. Visit the storehouse to steal by for upgrading the society. What does that mean though? Two. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. And I have eight left. Should I try that? I have eight left. Let's see what happens. Driving through the forest, you notice above the tree canopies the tall roofs of industrial buildings and smoking chimneys piercing the already overcast sky. The journey is not short, but you decide to head there. What do you do? Steal wooden boards? Buy wooden boards? Move on. No bonus. If we steal, we get a little bit less, so we have a chance of one or two. And if we buy, we obviously lose money, but we get three. We're gonna be sneaky and steal. Ah, oh, I guess that means... Oh, we got one. Okay. To be expected. Is it the merchant? Okay, there's the merchant underneath both. So let's do another scuffle, then the merchant, and then the hotel. And that means we have two more fights. Or we could do the merchant twice in a row to make sure we only have one more fight. Uh-oh. Characters express in chance to avoid enemies' attacks. Wow, they all have 15 evasion. Oh, 15% evasion. And what is happening there? Curse. Fisherman attempts to apply curse to the dog. And then 5 damage are from his one. We have nothing with a zero. So I definitely want to choose this. We need some blockage. Oh. I think I didn't understand this. We blocked, but it took half of this guy's health. Okay. Choose an enemy two times. What's the damage? 13, so we could already get rid of one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just... Get rid of him right away. Nine total damage. Okay. Oh, and he evaded. Well. Oh, what a shame. It's a shame that we can't do the actions for our doggo. I guess that's the element of RNG that has been put on top of the game, but it's fine. Okay, we have no one that is attacking us. Our dog is attacking this guy. Four, six. Again, he has the chance to evade and he is trying to curse us again. And he is also attacking the doggo. Let's first take a swing. Apply two vulnerability to all enemies and gain two shields. We'll definitely do that. We will apply weakness to all enemies as well. And hero or ally. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the ally this time around and give him some shield. Because I didn't have any attack cards, sadly. Oh, he evaded again as well. That evasion. Man, that's tough to deal with. And that's only with 15%. Okay, but the block definitely helped, so that's good. So this is ally only, so let's just do it. Uh two cards. Let's see what we have. Nutcracker, okay. Do do. Hero only, hero only. Hmm. As good as the dexterity is, but I feel like I want to get some damage. And 
then 14, 14, 14. Let me just quickly see. He's doing the 4 damage. I mean, they all have a chance to evade, of course, but let's try and see if we can get rid of him. Because only a dead enemy is a good enemy. Alright, Doggo is shielded up and healed up, so that should be okay, I hope. Did attempt to put some vulnerability on, but the shield blocks even that. Okay, so that's ally only. We don't need that uh, threat to a chosen enemy. You have the most at the moment. Smoke break reinforced. Let's get some more cards. Okay, gain this to all enemies. Nice, that's very good, very good. see. He's trying to attack me. Nice. Because of our dog's self-heal ability, I'm quite okay with him. That's why I protected myself this time and killed the guy who was going for me. Oh, and the dog killed the last person anyway, so there we go. Nice. Brotherhood ring. Passively get minus 25% discount while visiting the merchants. Merchant, okay. We can get weakness, shield, or damage. I'm gonna go for apply weakness because those cards are really, really good. And now we have a choice. Either deal 9 to all, or exhaust and 13 to all. Is exhaust meaning it is away forever, or just this one time then? After playing this card, because the exhaust, you must use it. You may use it once per battle. Okay, where well, this could potentially come back again, right? 13 is a lot to all, so I think I'm gonna go with that one. Claim the reward. Alright, so if we're clever, let's do just the merchant first. Oh, and then we have an encounter with a character or event. So technically speaking, we could do merchant, encounter, merchant, motel, and then go in the fight. Let's try that. Let's do merchant first. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Oh, this time he doesn't say anything. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, what do we have? We have 207, so we can purchase... We, we really have free choice now, but let's see. How actually do I use this? Anyway. Uh, each time you draw a card, draw plus one. That seems good. Passively get one extra option to select when picking a new card. Oh, that's also nice. Get one travel deck. And get plus one slot for um, consumables. That's great, because I guess we're now full. I wonder if I need to use... I guess I need to use them actively during the battle, right? And then I'm guessing... Right-click to unequip and remove permanently. I'm guessing it's one time, so it's, I guess it's single use? Or is it just single use per battle? We have to try this out. Equipment. Rabbit paw. In the end of each Elite 4 fight, get one extra option to select when picking a new relic. Army boots passively get plus one energy. Ooh, that is also strong. Beginning of each battle, apply three fearless. The consumable we have three region to a hero or ally. Twenty here and burning damage. And then we have exhaust deals three to all enemies three times. Okay, so nine damage to each enemy. So for a total of twenty-seven in that round, not bad. Low kick, precise. Do six damage, but also applies two vulnerability. That could be handy for that final boss fight. Oh man, tough choices, but I think I'm gonna go for this one to get one more energy. Oh, yeah, do you continue think this the journey. Will come again if you don't die. Okay, so let's try the event. Visit to replenish your supply of fuel for your journey. I think we're good. I think we can make it to the end. Cultists in the field. Passing by the farm at sunset, you see people dressed in animal skins. They are loudly laughing and shouting strange words as they light a large bonfire in the middle of the field and begin to worship the fire. What do you do? Pick an option. Lay low and see what happens. Attempt to stop the ritual. Turn around and cautiously go back. 
I want to see what happens. We're nosy. But I don't see what happens. Unable to contain your curiosity, you hide behind large stones. After more strange chants, the villagers take out knives. Suddenly, each one slits their own throat. Without ceasing their laughter, they fall to the ground. Complete silence follows. The bonfire flares up twice as bright, and a horrifying monstrosity emerges from it. Oh shoot. That wasn't the right one. <gasps> Eli for fight. Oh no. Oh well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we've beaten that one before. But all the albeit we have a lot less health now. So um What's he doing? 14? Maybe let's just try this. Right click to unequip move. How do I use this? Left click. Oh, that's how I use it. Okay. Let's just protect us. And it doesn't take away energy, so that's good. Gain four. Alright, I think we can do this. Uh, let's do this. Oh wow, well, we're gonna have a massive amount of shield if I use this now, so I'm gonna wait for that and I will apply two more vulnerability. Deal six to chosen two times. was a pretty strong start, not gonna lie. He's not gonna... He's not even gonna scratch us. 29 shield. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, heal our ally. We don't need to... I need to be... I need to be quick. He's doing another 2 damage and we're already down to 8. I have no idea how we replenish... Um, how we replenish our sanity. Again, did you see that? I just blocked and he's and I still attacked. I'm not quite sure how that works. That's the one thing that I'm not quite understanding just yet. And as we can see now, sanity damage bypasses shield. We killed him with a nutcracker. Passively get one travel deck. Okay. Do we have now a low kick? Deals damage. Oh, I think I'm gonna take this. Ah, oh, but this is also so good. Game three. They could stack. Yeah, I'm gonna take this, sorry. What do we have here? Oh, we took already game six hero only. Reinforced plus. Okay, yeah, so makes sense. Once you decided on the path, you can't then go back and, and change it over. Why would you reject a card upgrade? Hmm, I wonder. So what do we have now? Oh, now we have four here. We could do another encounter with an event. I'm not gonna do that. We could do another brawl. I also don't wanna do that. We have 219 gold, so I think I'm gonna go to the merchant once more. And then the hotel. Well, As that fight well, now wasn't well, really planned for. Look who's here. <laughs> Swearing fatal. Get 40. I don't know what that does, though. Because we haven't even had the Rage Meter fill once yet. So, equipment is technically full. In the beginning of each battle, get 15 shield. Nice. Get one visibility. Beginning of each battle, draw three. Yeah, that's fine. But that's a relic. In the beginning of each battle, heal five. That could be nice. Because we don't know yet if the hotel is going to heal us back to full. Immediately get five. Lottery ticket we have. Moon amulet. Passively get plus one energy max. And get one slot for consumables. We have here. Gain two energy. Newspapers for the shield, which is useful. Three regeneration. 
so many good things. That's that's a tough decision. I find the bones could really help us. I'm gonna buy them. Oh, and it looks like we can just have as many as we can. Come again. All right, that's very nice. If you don't die. But now let's make sure we stop at the motel. Motel. On your way, you come across a motel. It's surprisingly cozy for these lands. What if it's the only place around where you can catch your breath? What do you do? We can stay overnight and heal 25%. We could read a book that upgrades two cards. We visit the store and get one consumable for free. We meditate to gain five. Is that sanity? I hope it's sanity because I think I'm going to use this or move on. I can't use it. Oh no, oh no, it's this one. I don't know what that one actually means precisely. Oh well, that's a shame. I think I'm gonna stay overnight and at least heal and hope that the six that we have left there is gonna be enough for us to do this. Alright. Battle with an Elder God. Let's do this. Really nice. I love the makeup of this. Look at that. What the heck is this? I can't even read that. Nia Latotep. Some elder god. That looks amazing. Okay, let's do the smoke break first. Although, oh wow, it goes straight for our sanity with three damage to it, actually. That's not good. fine but I am very worried that's already that's gonna be 50% of what we have left oh my goodness should I just try no we have no energy left so it's pointless and the turn enemy turn poison holy shit and now it's gonna go at us with 11 if it does one of those attacks again that's it. Our sanity is gone. And I can't remember what the tooltip said at the beginning. <laughs> what exactly will happen once that is the case. Hero only. Hero only. We still don't need to use that because we're good. We have two energy left, so maybe this is the right time. How do I use this? Right click to honor. Oh yeah, nice, okay. So... I think we have enough shield, that's fine. So we could use two... to first of all... apply some more vulnerabilities, because I think that makes sense. And then just give it at least one good punch. Nice. I mean, halfway down. And that, in, that was just in two rounds, so... Here's hoping, right? Poison, man, that's amazing. What's it planning to do now? 16 block on itself, okay. So, threat. Okay, 48. So much health. This is a tough fight. But it's 35 plus 16 shield now that we need to go through. Although it's only 
14 shield left. Oh, it's going after our dog three times in a row. What is this? I don't understand. Our doggy is technically full at the moment. It has 25 out of 25. So I don't need to do the helpful and reinforced. So let's do... Nutcracker. And just in case... And end the turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, another five. A lot of poison damage. Okay. Definitely gonna apply this now. We need to we need to kill it. But I have nothing to deal damage. and get a card. Okay, let's try this then. Oh, come on. I have nothing left. Ability flash. Can I click this? Okay. It's not enough. I need to do it again. There we go. Goodness. Pick one relic. We've got the compass already. After an enemy death, heal plus one. Let's take this one then. The beginning of each battle gain 15. What are we taking? I think we have enough of those now, so I'm gonna take another shotgun. Let's do hero or ally. Really weakness to chosen enemy. Gain eight shield, but get one card, or get six shield and get two cards. Two cards is good. Humans minus D is four to a chosen, D is three to a chosen. What's the difference? This one has rapid. After playing this card, goes to draw instead of discard pile. Oh, so that may come again, yeah. Sorry, friend, but for now. It's a no-go. The time has not come yet. <laughs> this character progress ends here in the demo version. Don't worry, you've done everything as best as you could. It's just the end of the character's journey, not the end of the demo. Later that day. Head, it's good that you're here. We haven't been able to decipher oh, the inscription. I guess that's where the voice acting now stops. At least I can't hear it these right at the don't moment. Resemble any known language. Head. It's, a dead it's good that you're here. We haven't been Sumerian. able to decipher the inscriptions yet. The ancient language specialist insists that these symbols don't resemble any known language, and most likely, it's a dead language older than Sumerian. That's not all. That's not we all. We were fortunate to discover something very peculiar. Something, something, inside, something inside the monolith, the monolith emits low frequency, frequency pulses, pulses in a binary, binary rhythm. rhythm. The, the nature, nature of these pulses, pulses is completely is incomprehensible in to us. Later that day. Bad news, sir. Bad the new news, recruit sir. Didn't return on time. The new recruit didn't return on time. I sent a search party to assist him. Unfortunately, when the search party found him, it was, it was too already late. lifeless. He was already lifeless. We brought his body here to honor his contribution. We brought his body here to honor his, to his, to our our cause, to our to our his contribution to our cause and bid him farewell with honors. Poor soul. 
Oh, after so death, his face froze after death, in his face froze in an inhuman grimace from the horrors he witnessed on this journey. Good folks, Good folks please, please prepare, prepare pyre, pyre for, the for the cremation of the unfortunate. What's happening? Take cover. What's happening? Take cover. Is it over? I think we have nothing more to over? fear. I think we've never seen anything like fear. this before. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at the face of the deceased. Look at it's the no face of the deceased. It's no longer distorted by Perhaps, an inhuman grimace. Crazy as it may Perhaps, sound. crazy as it may sound, the monolith absorbed all the horror he experienced. Brain, your hypothesis, Brain, is, not your crazy hypothesis is not crazy at all. My father wrote about, it, father in wrote about it in his journals. This artifact this consumes, artifact the, consumes the fear and dreadful pain, pain experienced by humans. By humans. In return, in return, it provides, it provides immense, immense power, power that can be that harnessed. Can be harnessed. Didn't, you Didn't you just witness that? Head, we need to study it in more detail Head, before using it. We need to study it in more detail before using it. We don't with. fully understand what we're dealing with. Brain, Brain look, outside look outside of the blood moon. Isn't that, Isn't a, sign? that a sign? What if the what monolith, if the is, monolith our is our salvation only salvation from the cosmic threat looming over, over, over this doomed town? town? What if we, what have, if to we have to fight the elders? elders? Fight the fight very gods. The very gods, gods whose gods, mere thought, whose mere thought the drives the most members experienced of members of our secret insane. society insane. You can count on me. You I'm can count you on me. To the end. I'm with you to the end. Total fear points. Fear earned in the last journey. 358. Congratulations. From now on, you will come across these cards on your next travels. Take a cover. Exhaust. Gain 14. Shield. Confirm. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the demo version. The storyline of the menace from the deep demo version has concluded. You can continue playing to unlock additional locked content available in the demo. If you enjoyed the game, be sure to add the game to your wishlist, as this directly influences whether the full version of the game will be released. Thank you for playing, don't be afraid of anything, and recommend the demo version to your friends. Alright you guys, I think this is a perfect moment then to essentially call it a day. I have to say I absolutely enjoyed my time. I think the battle system, albeit yes, another card battler, but I like it. It's refreshing, it's not overly complicated. At least in this demo version, as you could see, the upgrades come quick and have strong impact. So you don't just feel slightly different. The cards immediately get massively stronger. Um, I really like the graphical style. I like how they actually put this together. The narrative is great. And well, it is playing to the Lovecraftian universe. And um, well, I personally enjoy this a lot. So I do think if you like a bit of RPG elements, definitely the darker side of storytelling, and if you enjoy a good Picard Peddler, then my recommendation is give this one a try. You could hear it from the beginning. The voice acting so far is superb. Obviously, there's not everything completely fleshed out yet, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for joining me again on this journey for the first view of the demo of Menace from the Deep. But um, I hope I will be able to see you again on the next one. Until then, look after yourself and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.